A few nights back, we had a very special briefing. It was called the mother of all pullbacks. In it, I gave you price levels for 2019. I gave you the best performing sector for 2019. I even gave you the best stock for 2019. And this is no joke. The last time I had a briefing like that, the stock was up 33% in less than three weeks. Watch this briefing now before we pull it offline. It's urgent, it's time sensitive, and it's very important. Now, I picked the best three questions from this briefing, and I'm gonna go through them in the lab now. So let's get into it right away. All right, we're back in the lab, and as I mentioned before, I went through all of the questions, and I didn't just pick random questions. I picked the questions that I believe will help you best right now in the current market environment, okay? I want you to be ready for what's coming ahead, and you need to review the mother of all pullbacks. We'll get into that in a minute, but for now, let's get into the questions. So the first question is, do you still hold bond position when the market turns bullish? That's a great question, and the answer is yes. We always hold the bond position. As the market becomes bullish, we reduce the bond exposure. And as the market becomes bearish, we increase our bond exposure. Holding a bond creates a natural hedge for our cluster, okay? A cluster is a combination of positions. So we don't know which stock is gonna be the big winner or loser. So we combine three top stocks and we include one position of bonds. Now, the bond can be 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%, even 50% of the cluster. So the ratio of the bond is determined by how bullish or how bearish the market is. You always want to have a little bit of bond because you don't know when that downside correction will occur, and sometimes they occur very quickly. So holding bonds is very smart, and that's what most portfolio managers do. They always have bonds in their portfolio. So once again, we regulate the proportion of bonds based on how bullish or bearish the market is. And guys, I want you to keep in mind, I answer a ton of important questions and give you amazing amount of actionable trading tactics during the mother of all pullbacks class. And you can apply these tactics right now. So if you want to know what the best stock or the best sector will be for 2019, I highly recommend you catch the Encore presentation of the mother of all pullbacks. Just sign up below this video. Now let's continue. So the second question, you mentioned the best performing sector. What about the worst one in 2019? So here's what I believe. I believe the financial sector is going to be the worst performing sector. Now, why? And the reason I believe that is because I believe the Fed is going to continue pushing back rate hikes. And rates are very, very low. Believe it or not, we're still near historic lows. We're not above 5%. We're in the lower range of the bracket. So interest rates have a long ways to catch up. And banks earn money from interest rates. Credit cards earn money from interest rates. Higher rates means more money for banks and credit card companies. And these companies have been suffering for years. Rates have been very, very low, and finance companies have not been doing well. And I see this continuing in 2019. All the banks, all the institutions were getting ready for rate hikes, and the Fed is pushing back. Now, we may see rates go higher, but you know what? They're still low. And in the end of 2019, I don't think we're going to be anywhere near the target that the Fed set. And that's going to cause a major bear market for financial stocks, in my opinion. So question number three, how far out do you go when you buy options? That's a great question. Generally, as a rule of thumb, I like to go out about 50 to 90 days before expiration. Time decay really, really starts about 30 days before expiration. So you definitely do not want to be in an option that has 30 days or left before expiration. It's like holding ice in your hand. It just keeps melting and melting away. So ideally, you want 50 to 90 days out. That'll give you good liquidity and good volume. And I want you guys to know I'm stunned, just stunned by the volume of emails I received since the webinar. Along with the questions I just answered, Everyone wants to know if there will be a replay. Yes, an Encore recording is now available, and this is the last time I'll share this. Why? Because the trend has already kicked off, but there's still some time to get in on the ride. If you hurry and get my precise instructions in the replay, I'll show you exactly how to play the mother of all pullbacks that's coming soon. This is your last chance before the big move hits. Sign up now for instant access to the replay. I don't want you to miss out on the coming profits that could literally make your year, so watch the replay now.